I roll a fair dice twice. I am rolling a dice twice. Okay. And obtain two numbers x1 result of first roll. X2 is result of second roll. Okay. X1, X2, two rolls are there. Given that I know X1 plus X2 equal to 7. I know X1 plus X2 equal to 7. What is the probability that X1 equal to 4 or X2 equal to 4? Okay. First of all, we have to read the question properly and we have to write some mathematical analysis. Then only we can move ahead. I roll a fair dice twice. I roll a fair dice twice and obtain two numbers obtain two numbers x1 equal to result of first roll x2 equal to result of second roll given that given that means it will come in the denominator what we are supposed to find already known fact is x1 plus x2 equal to 7 is known fact and what is the probability that x1 equal to 4 x2 or x2 equal to 4 x1 equal to 4 okay or x2 equal to 4 this probability we have to find okay this is of the fashion probability of a by b which should be written as probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b okay so we are supposed to find probability of a by b a means okay a means x1 equal to 4 or x2 equal to 4 this entire thing is a now b event b is x1 plus x2 equal to 7 x1 plus x2 equal to 7 okay a by b we are supposed to find now we will try slowly coming to the this are basic understanding okay all this are basic understanding now coming to further further analysis two dice are used so the sample space we can write down sample space we can write down okay it is nothing but 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 5, 1 comma 6, then 2 comma 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. Okay, then 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6 then 4 1 4 2 this is important only then we can do analysis so i'm patiently writing it 4 5 4 6 next is 5 1 5 2 5 3 5 4 5 5 5 6 then 6 1 6 2 6 3 6 4 6 5 6 6 all these are two faces of the uh, dice okay i'm uh, not putting comma here it will take time you understand i think okay so in the sample space 36 outcomes are there or 36 events are there in the sample space 36 events are there this completely is sample space okay 36 events are there now i am going to the first case what is the probability of x1 equal to 4 what is the probability of x1 equal to 4? Okay. Uh, x1 equal to 4 means, x1 equal to 4 means, I have, what are the cases? What are the cases? x1 equal to 4. x1 equal to 4 means, and means first dice. Okay. x1 is first roll. x2 is second roll. Okay. First dice. I am taking first, uh, uh, a dice is rolled twice. A dice is rolled twice. Okay, first roll. X1 equal to 4 means in the first roll, 4 should come. In the first roll, 4 should come. So, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6. Okay, so 6 favorable outcomes are present. So, favorable outcomes are 6 in number. Favorable outcomes are 6 in number. Now, how to find the probability favorable outcomes by total outcomes? Favorable outcomes by total outcomes. Favorably 6, total sample space is 36. 1 by 6 is the probability of x1 equal to 4. Okay. Next, I will go with x2 equal to 4. Already it is given in the question x2 equal to 4. First, I am trying to find x1 equal to 4, x2 equal to 4. Now, I have to find what is the probability second roll 
4 is coming. Second role, 4 is coming. So x2 equal to 4 means in the sample space, second time 4 is coming. 1 comma 4, okay. So 2 comma 4, 3 comma 4, 4 comma 4, 5 comma 4 and 6 comma 4, okay. Second time 4 is coming here. So favorable outcomes are 6. Favorable outcomes are 6. Now we have to find probability favorable e events by total events. Favorable outcomes by total outcomes. Favorable outcomes I have shown you 6 by the side. Total outcomes is sample space. So it is 1 by 6. It is 1 by 6. Okay. Now what is the intersection of? What is the intersection of x1 and x2? Okay. x1 and x2. 4 is coming both the times. 4 is coming both the times. Okay. That is 4 comma 4, 4 comma 4. I will just uh, finish it. Just one more minute. I will complete it. Uh, x1 equal to 4. Okay. Intersection x2 equal to 4. What are the events for this? What are the events? x1 equal to 4, x2 equal to 4. You can see here 4 comma 4 is present. 4 comma 4 is present. Okay. So only one favorable event 4 comma 4. One favorable event. One favorable event. Okay. So probability of x1 equal to 4, intersection x2 equal to 4, we are having favorable by total events. Favorable event is 1, total event is 36. Okay. We have found x1 equal to 4 probability, x2 equal to 4 probability, then intersection also we have found probability. Okay. Now next step what we have to do, uh, or you can see in the first line I have written x1 equal to 4 or x2 equal to 4. I have to find union. I have to find union. Probability of x1 equal to 4. Union x2 equal to 4. We know the basic formula. Okay. Uh, uh, probability of x1 equal to 4 plus probability of x2 equal to 4. Okay. Minus probability of intersection. Okay. I will come up here. We are supposed to find union value. We are supposed to find union value. I will take this in the next slide. So now union, probability of x1 equal to 4, union x2 equal to 4 is nothing but probability of x1 equal to 4 plus probability of x2 equal to 4 minus probability of x1 equal to 4 intersection x2 equal to 4. So we have the values of all these things. Individually we have found the values of all these things. In the previous slide it is there. If you see, x1 equal to 4 means 1 by 36, x2 equal to 4 means 1 by, uh, sorry, 1 by 6, and x2 equal to 4 means 1 by 6, and intersection means 1 by 36. We will just calculate that. We will just calculate that. This is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 36. If we make LCM, this becomes 6 plus 6 minus 1. It is 11 by 36 intersect union. 11 by 36 is the union. Now we will try to find what is the probability of x1 plus x2 equal to 7. What is the probability of x1 plus x2 equal to 7? If you see here, this is the final thing what we have to answer. Final thing what we have to answer. Numerator value, we got it, x1 equal to 4 or x2 equal to 4, the value we got it. Now I am trying to find x1 plus x2 equal to 7. What are the cases x1 plus x2 equal to 7? So 3 plus 4 is 7, then 4 plus 3 is 7, then 5 plus 2 is 7, and 2 plus 5 is 7, then 6 plus 1 is 7, 1 plus 6 is 7. Okay, these are the chances, 6 chances where x1 plus x2 is becoming 7. Okay. So favorable outcomes by total outcomes. Favorable outcomes by total outcomes. Favorable is 6. Total is sample space. Now this is 1 by 36. This is 1 by 36. Okay. So now what we are supposed to do, what we are supposed to do, this is of the form probability of x1 equal to 4, union x2 equal to 4, divided by x1 plus x2 equal to 7. This is our final answer. 
to be done this is of the fashion probability of a by b probability of a by b okay which can be written as probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b divided by probability of b now what i will try to do what is the intersection numerator and denominator what is the intersection for numerator we are having the six chances here i will take i will take yellow color other colors will not yes so for x1 equal to 4 i have six chances here x2 equal to 4 i have six chances here okay so union means union means there is 11 chances chances because 4 4 and then 4 4 is getting repeated okay 6 plus 6 is 12 6 plus 6 is 12 but this 4 4 and this 4 4 is getting repeated so we have to subtract so 11 chances are there 11 chances are there when we are get, calculating union that is how we got here 11 when we are calculating union okay 11 is come out like that now what is the intersection with the denominator what is the intersection those 11 outcomes 11 outcomes intersection with denominator so denominator is having this uh, uh, yellow color underlinings yellow color, sum is becoming 7 okay now what we have to do out of the 11 here we are finally coming out with 11 outcomes we are finally coming out with 11 outcomes okay and in that 11 outcomes what are common intersection with this yellow color underlining with this yellow color underlining okay so you can see 1 plus 6 is not there only 4 and then 4 either starting should be 4 or ending should be 4 so that is satisfied only 3 comma 4 okay starting 4 or ending 4 should be there intersection means and 4 3 3 4 4 3 okay only these two chances are there now this numerator indicates numerator indicates intersection of intersection of a and b numerator indicates intersection of a and b now the outcomes are either 4 comma 3 or 3 comma 4 possibilities are there these are the favorable outcomes for numerator favorable outcomes for numerator denominator probability of b probability of b means sum must be 7 b means sum must be 7 okay sum is 7 we are having 6 chances yellow color underlining i have done 6 chances and i have also written here okay i have also written here uh, favorable outcomes are 6 in number favorable outcomes are 6 in number or this is the probability okay probability of b means directly this is the probability of b this is the probability of b directly you can take probability of b okay so here two favorable outcomes so whenever you calculate probability of A intersection B, it becomes two favorable outcomes by total sample space 36. And the probability of B means 1 by 36. Okay, 2 by 1. 6 by 36. Okay, I have written 1 by 6. Uh, 1 by 36. Here I went wrong. Okay, this is 1 by 6. This is 1 by 6. Now you operate. So probability of B, I was telling you. I will use this color. So probability of b already i have written here 1 by 6 okay so now probability of a by b already the formula we know it is 2 by 36 divided by 6 by 36 or 1 by 6 whichever way you write it becomes the 6 and 6 will get cancelled numerator will be 2 by 6 1 by 3 the answer okay the only 